us for this month's episode of Fulton First Mayor's Minutes, coming to you from the conference room here at City Hall. This month in November, we're gonna be rolling out a new campaign, Give Back, Give Thanks, and that's tied to our ARPA dollars, the $50,000 that we allocated to not-for-profits and various organizations around the community. You know, it would be great if we could support every agency and every organization and every not-for-profit that's out there, but the reality is, is we can't. And we allocated $50,000 in round one, and we hope to be able to do that again in the future. For this round, we're proud that we were able to support so many not-for-profits, and we're gonna highlight that through a campaign to bring attention to these organizations that do so much in our community and to help our, that help our students and help our elderly and help in so many different facets of the community. So November will be a Give Back, Give Thanks campaign, and we'll be highlighting many of these organizations through PR, uh, news articles, spotlights, and social media highlights. So be on the lookout for that. As a reminder, with the weather changing, please be sure to check out our website, contact the DPW or the clerk's office to understand the protocol for managing all the leaves that are in our yards. I did see quite a few leaves along the, uh, the curbs in the streets, and it's just not safe. It's not safe for vehicles. It's not safe for buses. It's not safe for our children. It's not safe for our pedestrians. So please remember to not put those leaves in the road on the other side of the curb. And we also don't want them running into the catch basins and clogging those up. So we ask for everyone's help with that. And if you have any questions or need uh, understanding of how to best take care of those leaves, please give us a call and we'll be happy to talk with you more on that. Also in November, uh, we most likely will hear from the police department on the parking ban. As the weather changes, we will be addressing the parking ban here in the near future. So be on the lookout for that. We will post it on social media as well as on the website. This is the time of year when we work on our budget. And it's an important piece of what we do. And it's something that we have to work on all throughout the year. There's so many moving parts to a budget. And it's the taxpayers dollars that we're working with. COVID has had its impact. And as we're looking at the budget for 2022, it's difficult with the numbers that we're seeing. And there's a lot of work for us to do. It's an important matter. It's one that we take seriously and it's one that we're gonna be working on diligently. I wish the numbers painted a different picture, but they don't. And so we have to work really hard to find every opportunity to make up where COVID had such impact. The reality is the cost of doing business went up. We just had to sign a contract for fuel for all of our city vehicles. The contract was increased. I just received a letter last week from a, a vendor that we work with that said as of October 31st, the cost of services and their products and services is going up. And we're hearing that time and time again. In 2021, we did not see and recognize the revenues that we hoped to because COVID lasted much longer than any of us wanted or anticipated. And we don't know where COVID's gonna take us in the future. So we're working on the budget. We're putting a great deal of emphasis and importance on this very important process. I'm in the middle of negotiations with police and fire, and next year is the CSEA contract. This process of budget negotiations has not been easy, and contract negotiations have not been easy. I'd like to say that we are able to come to an agreement, but quite frankly, we have not been. And we have to be responsible with our spending. We have to be responsible with our dollars. And if anyone looks at our budget, you can see that payroll and benefits and medical expense takes up the largest chunk of our budget. I recognize that it has been a point of conversation at every contract meeting. And I'm sorry 
but I just can't give in to all the demands that are being asked. I have to do what's right for the taxpayers. And I will fight to make sure that we have good, fair, solid contracts, but responsible spending on behalf of the taxpayers. The counselors who have joined me, Councillor Mackner from the sixth ward, Councillor Patrick from the third ward, and at times Councillor Avery from the fifth ward. They've been involved in these budget and contract discussions. And we're gonna to continue to work through those challenges for the best outcome. But it isn't easy and the numbers speak volumes to where we are and where we need to be. Finally, I want to apologize for those who have called my office and have not received phone calls back. I'm embarrassed by the fact that at times phone calls never get to me, so I don't know. And when I don't know, I'm not able to respond. For those who have called my office and have not received a response, I apologize. Know that those matters are important. And your voice is important. And that I am going to be addressing that. I've already started to have the conversations and going, for, going forward, there'll be a much more responsive effort on my office behalf to those calling to speak with me or those calling to get answers from the mayor's office. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Thank you for tuning in. I hope everyone has a safe, happy and healthy Thanksgiving and I look forward to seeing you next month. Take care. Thank you.